Hi, today I'm going to make this bookmark. I think this would be a good uh, part of a teacher's gift or a good gift to students or young people for their summer reading. You could substitute other words and papers and really make it for anybody. So the materials that I'm going to use for my bookmark, um, I've got some stamps that will work with my scallop punch or lots of different kinds of stamps that, that go with um, this type of punch. I also have uh, a tag, and I cut my tag on the Cricut. It could be a purchase tag as well. And I have some words here that I got from an Allie Edwards set uh, called Perspectives uh, that I'm going to use for the love, re I love and read. And I'm just going to write in the word too. And of course, again, you could substitute other uh, word stamps. My designer paper that inspired the color scheme is from October afternoon. This is from the eight and a half by or the 8x8 eight eight, uh, paper pad from Camp, the Campfire Collection. I always love a good stripe because you can pull lots of different uh, colors from that. And I have one other stamp that's a background stamp. It's actually a wheel uh, from Stamping Up, but I use it as a, as a stamp, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So let's get started with our bookmark. I've cut two pieces of uh, cardstock. One is two inches wide by six and a quarter, and the other is two and a quarter inches wide by six and a quarter. And both of them, I'm going to use the one half inch um, corner rounder to take off the top corner. We'll set the blue one aside. This is going to be the back, so that you get a nice clean back for your bookmark. So we won't need that one for a while. And we'll take this um, kiwi green color, and I'm going to ink up what was originally a wheel, and I take my wheels and I mount them on the foam uh, and make them like cling stamps, but you could use it, of course, as a wheel as well to, to give some, some interest to this background. Okay, here's my Kiwi Kiss ink. Just doing a tone on tone with the same color ink for the stamping as I have for the background paper. background. Now I'm ready to stamp some of the other uh, elements that are going to go on this. I'm using ivory paper because the October afternoon papers always have an ivory background to them. And I'm going to start with the, um, the scallop design. And the outside of this I want to be a red scallop. It's not going to end up saying happy birthday. We're going to cover that part up. I love fluid chalk inks. They just turn out so pretty. Okay. And for the middle part of the design, I'm using a stamp that I'm going to work with some markers so I can have multiple colors here. I want to use blue on the for the flower and some gold around the edge. And again, I picked up my colors from the colors in the striped paper. And one of the things I looked at first was the ribbon that we'll be putting on at the end to see what color ribbons I have. So a lot of times I start with my paper, then I look at my ribbon selection or buttons or whatever uh, accessories I'm going to use, and then kind of go from there. Because I've got a lot of ink colors, but I don't have an unlimited choice in ribbons when it comes to the perfect um, size and texture and all. little huff. Okay. Now, we'll punch these out. Okay. 
palette punch. And I don't have a circle punch quite the right size for that, but I do have my Creative Memory Circle Cutters, so I'll use that instead. And I'm going to layer those two on top in a moment. We'll just set that aside with the background. And we're ready to put things together. Okay, and now I'm ready to stamp the words on the tag. Alright, back to my fluid uh, chalk inks. This is color warm red. I'm going to do these one at a time. We'll start with the word love. One of the things I like about these stamps is you can color in the image, uh, color in the, the word love if you want to. I'm not going to do that this time, um, but if you stamped them in a black or brown uh, ink that wouldn't run like a Stason ink, you could color those in as well. That would be another way to do this. And I'll go ahead and stamp uh, read and then also the, le the letter I. And then to finish this up, I need the word two, and I don't have a stamp that says that, so I'm just going to pencil in or ink in two. I love to read. Okay. That, I think I'll go ahead and push that up. Now. That will be ready to go on my finished card as well, and we are about ready to do some assembly. Okay. Now to assemble our card, one of the other things we would need is a strip of uh, paper that's been scallop punched, and I've gone ahead and done that. And what I want to do is start kind of position where I think I want things to end up. Okay, it gives me kind of an idea of where I'm going to go with this. Now, for bookmarks, typically if I were doing a card, I would just cut this the same width as the background, but for a bookmark, it's a little sturdier if you have your papers wrapped around one side so that you don't have all those those edges that can be picked up uh, and can get ragged as they're used because since they're going to get a lot more handling. So I'm going to start with one side of this and just fold over the excess. I cut this strip, I think it was one and a quarter inches wide and then about three and a half inches long just to make sure I had enough to wrap around the back. Okay. And I'm just going to use some regular tape on this to hold it. It's going to get glued down in a few moments to the, the uh, backing. And I'm going to do the same thing with my scallop edge here. Take that and wrap that around the edges. Same deal, we'll put a little tape on it, just hold it in place, okay. and then I'm going to be ready to position, okay, now I'm ready to put the tag in, inside this little pocket that I've created on the front, and I just need a little bit of um, adhesive on the bottom because there'll be a brad going through here. And I'm tilting this slightly. Remember there's a backer page, or a little piece of blue paper that's going on the back, so it's going to cover um, some of that edging up. And for this portion, and for this one, I'm going to use a brad to hold these things down. So, let's put this in place. Put our hole in there. Okay. 
I like to use brads for these kinds of things and I only take them through the top layer so that the, the backer will cover the bottom of the brad but the brad will really hold everything together rather than relying on a lot of adhesive when you're doing something like a bookmark that's going to get a lot of um, handling. And I have some ribbon to tuck in. Same kind of thing. Use a paper piercing tool, or I use an awl. You get these at the fabric store. And the last thing I need to do to my card is to put the blue uh, background on that. It'll be flush at the bottom and then just a little bit hanging off each edge. And I found the best way to hold these is with glue dots. And what I particularly like are these, the, they're called memory book. They are, oh, I don't know, maybe three-eighths of an inch or half an inch or something uh, wide. And they're, they're pretty good sized glue dots and they work really well. And I always put a couple right over the brad. Be sure that part is adhering good. And just something besides my fingers. Okay. I'll just add a few more of these and glue the, the back on. And there's our bookmark. And of course, if you wanted to make several of these, you could mass produce them and they would go um, fairly quickly. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope I've given you some ideas for a quick little gift.